guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make five fun and easy DIY phone cases. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button and comment down below with any future video suggestions you may have. And if you're new to my channel and you'd like to see more fun DIY videos, please click that subscribe button. The first phone case I will show you will be a DIY eyelash phone case. For this one, you will need some sort of case for your phone and also some white paint. You will just want to start by painting the phone case white. Here is mine after a couple coats of white paint. Next thing I did was I just drew on some eyelashes. I just used a Sharpie to color the eyelashes in. And that's all there is to this easy DIY phone case that has eyelashes on it. The second DIY phone case is a squishy kawaii popsicle. For this one, you will need a foam noodle. Any size will work. Started, I marked my pool noodle off at three inches and this will really depend on the size of your phone case. Then I just cut on the three inch marking. Stand the pool noodle up and cut off the outer rounded edge. I'm going to use a cup to make markings on the side for the rounded edges. off the rounded edges so it starts looking more like a popsicle. Cut off a little bit from the sides and the bottom to even it out. With a Sharpie and some paint, I'm going to make my face. The next thing that you will need is a popsicle stick and you will just want to trim it so it doesn't hang over the pool noodle. Glue the popsicle stick to the pool noodle. Use any phone case that fits your phone and glue the popsicle to the phone case. And that is how you make this kawaii squishy popsicle phone case. I'm also going to show you one more way to make a popsicle out of the pool noodle. So just take any pool noodle and follow the same steps to create it to look like a popsicle. This one I wanted it to look more like a melting popsicle. So what I'm going to use is some puffy paint and I'm just going to do that in the colors of the rainbow and you wanna just start by making sure that you fully cover the top and the sides and just follow a rainbow pattern.
and here is mine once it was dry. This one I also used a Sharpie and some paint to draw on the face. Put a popsicle stick down to size, glue it to the pool noodle, and then glue it to a foam case. And that is how you make two different versions of this squishy kawaii popsicle. The third DIY phone case will be a bubblegum phone case with real gum in it that you can eat. For this one, I am going to use one of these boxes that had um, some forks and spoons and knives in it. Start by cutting off the bottom of the box. Next, cut one of the ends of the box. After I cut the end of the box off, I realized I didn't want my box to be so big, so I did trim some more off of the sides. Now take the other end of the box and glue it back together. Trim this side to be just a little bit smaller than the first one. piece that you just cut should fit inside of the other one pretty tight. As you see, it's just a little bit too big, so you'll want to trim off one of the ends. Print out the label and cut it down to size. I will leave a link down below where you can print this out. The next thing I did was I laminated the label. You can also use clear packing tape. Take the label and wrap it around the box so it starts getting some creases. Then take and fold on each of those crease lines. off where the label needs to be trimmed down to size and then trim it down. Glue the label to the box and then for the sides fold it in like you're wrapping a gift. Using a piece of the excess that I trimmed off from earlier, I'm going to cover the front part of the box. For this one, I'm going to use a clear phone case. And what I did was I just super glued the top of the box to the phone case. You don't want to glue the bottom as that is what's going to slide. Next, I just took some bubblegum pieces and put that in the bottom of the box and slid it onto the phone case. if you want to make it slide a little bit easier just take a bead and glue it to the box and that is how you make this bubblegum phone case that has real bubblegum inside DIY phone case will be a hollow diamond phone case. For this one, I'm going to use this holographic gift wrap that I found at Michael's. I printed out this diamond shape. I will leave a link down below where you can print this out. The next thing that I did was I cut out a little piece of the gift wrap off of the roll. Place the gift wrap face down, and then take the image, place that on top, and then with a pencil, kind of hard, you wanna press on all the lines of the diamond. 
You don't want to press so hard that it rips the gift wrap underneath. And here is what it does. It gives you the lines of the diamond on the right side of the gift wrap. With a black Sharpie, I went over all of the lines. Once the lines are all drawn in with the Sharpie, then just cut out the diamond. In a piece of regular tape, I taped the diamond to the phone. Then I used a clear phone case to cover it. And that's all there is to this easy DIY phone case that is a hollow diamond. The fifth phone case will be a DIY slime phone case. For this one, you will need a clear phone case and some puffy paint. I am going to make mine pink. Take the puffy paint and start making drips that look like slime running down the phone case. Once you have the slime look the way that you want it, set that aside and let it dry for about 24 hours. Here is mine after it was dry. Then you can just add your phone case onto your phone. And that is how you make this easy DIY slime phone case. I hope you guys enjoyed these five DIY phone case ideas. I would love it if you gave this video a thumbs up Leave me a comment, let me know which one was your favorite. Until next time, I hope you guys all have an amazing day.